Hey hi everyone welcome to our very first lecture of the MongoDB series and in this particular video I'll explain you that what is MongoDB Atlas, how we can create the account on it and how we can create the database and then we can get the MongoDB Atlas connection string right so make sure that you watch the lecture till the end right so let's start so first of all we need to come on the, our browser and search for MongoDB Atlas and go to the first URL right now when you come this is the interface of the mongodb atlas this is how it looks right so before starting you need to create your accounts for that go to the sign in and here you can either use your google account or github right so yeah after that just click on this i accept the privacy policy and the term of services and submit so after submitting let's wait so this is the main interface of the mongodb right by default there's a one database which is project zero right we need to create more so we can create more projects right and this is how it looks so let me explain you that how you can create your own project here so first of all you need to click on new project and here you need to give your project name let's say programming underscore knowledge right so just click on the next and after that if you want to add some members to this particular uh, database you can uh, write the name of the user or email address right till now i am the owner so i'll just create it now our project is successfully created you can see on the top the programming knowledge right now let's do few more things that is first of all we will give the network access so we need to add an ip address right so one thing that you need to know that while working on some local project what you need to do is that you allow the access from anywhere normally we do that otherwise if you want to add any particular ip address that that address can only access this database then you can provide that otherwise as a developer right we use this allow access from anywhere just make it confirm done so you can see this is the IP address 0.0.0.0 slash 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0. This is your current IP address, which is inactive, means it is in the process, right? And it will get active in a few minutes, right? So let's go to the cluster now. And now here we are going to build our cluster, which is very important part. So just click on build a cluster. After that, you will see such kind of interface, right? Normally we use the free version right so just click on the free after that you can choose whichever you want right choose the region uh, nearby uh, let's let's search for mumbai right yeah and uh, that is all good right and if you want to change the name of the cluster you can do that also so let's name it um, programming like this got it let's name it programming and just create this so i'll just create by clicking on this create deployment button and yeah this is how it looks just a second i think uh, my window got cracked so here you can change the username which you wish right just change the username to some uh, coding master let's say right this is the username i'm setting and the password you need to remember your password make sure right so let's uh, do one thing that my password is a b c d one two three four this is what i am doing right i'll just copy it also and yeah let's now choose the connection so first of all create the database and then choose the connection and we use go to this connect to your application so driver right just click on it and uh, the driver is node.js version is 6.7 and before starting make sure that in your node.js uh, just 
go add to the terminal and write npm install mongodb right and here from here you can get your url this is your connection string right this is your connection so if you click on the view sample ports then here you can get the complete line of code how you connect and everyone you think you can see mongo client on the top right to work with the mongodb okay let's just close it and uh, just save this right and now after this just go on the done part and done it is taking time we are loading the sample data set to the programming right so yeah it is doing something like that let's wait for it so yeah it is done now so if you want to see the data which you have created from your backend side right or you have inserted anything right you can check it from here in the clusters you can see on the top there is a database and then the cluster right this is the name of our cluster which is programming which we set right and by the connect we got the connection string right and if you go on the browse collections here it loaded some sample data like this so you can see this is the sample database right and these are all the collections so these are the data which is added by them right we have not added this we will delete it we like before uh, working with it we will drop the database right so yeah, you can see so like this that we can see our data right this is the second collection which is creators and when you go on it you can get the data about the creator also right yeah so that's it now if you go to the network access so you can see our this 0.0, .0 which is access from anywhere is now active right so the main task was basically to get our connection string so when you go to the connect driver right you can see it is present here and when you go to the full code sample you can get your connection string right so that's it so just copy it and use it so this is all about how we create our account on mongodb and how we create our cluster and how we get our connection string from the mongodb atlas so thank you so much for watching goodbye